morning, and thank you all for being here today. The 2020 Census is now underway. Two weeks ago, the Census Bureau counted its first person in rural Alaska. Next month, counting will begin in earnest around our country. The Constitution requires us to count every single person in the United States without exception. This census will be the largest and most complex in American history, and it is essential that the count is full, fair, and free from any interference. This year's census will have enormous consequences for our communities. The, the results will drive the distribution of more than $1.5 trillion in federal funds. That's trillion with a T. These funds support critical services like children's health care, local schools, roads, and bridges. Unfortunately, the administration's preparations for the census have been woefully inadequate. Whether through incompetence or intentional action, this administration's failures risk causing grave harm to this year's census and could jeopardize a complete and accurate count, and these problems are now absolutely urgent. Today, the nonpartisan Government Accountability Office is publicly releasing a troubling new report that highlights serious concerns about preparations for the 2020 Census. We will hear from GAO in a moment, but here are some of the most uh, concerning findings. The Census Bureau, and I quote, this is from GAO, faces significant risks that could adversely impact the cost quality, schedule, and security of the count, end quote. Quote, the Bureau is behind in its recruiting of applicants for upcoming operations. If the Bureau does not recruit sufficient individuals, it may have difficulty hiring enough staff to complete its upcoming operations within the scheduled time frames, end quote. This is uh, particularly troubling this is a chart that GAO has. The red line is where we should be in hiring at 2.6 million. We're now at 2.2, getting there. But all of this time, when they should have been up here, they were behind in the hiring. That's got to impact, in a negative way, the outcome of, of the census. Another quote, the Bureau also continues to face significant cybersecurity challenges including those related to addressing cybersecurity weaknesses in a timely manner, end quote. End quote. The Bureau has missed interim goals building towards its overall goal of 300,000 community partners by March 2020, end quote. Uh, many people tell me at the Bureau, at GAO, and everywhere that one of the most important things is having these partnerships with the community because they know the community. They know where the people are. They can help get the count accurate as possible. Today's stark warning from GAO reflects similar concerns that this committee has been raising for the past several years with increasing urgency. Last month, we held a hearing in which witnesses after witnesses raised dire warnings about the administration's failures to adequately prepare for the 2020 Census. For example, Mark Morial, the president and CEO of the National Urban League, testified that the Census Bureau should be treating this as a, quote, state of an emergency, end quote. He warned that hiring was far, far behind schedule. And, quote, it's time to ring the bell and that, quote, the risk for the nation and the risk for our communities is grave, end quote. Benita Gupta, the president and CEO of the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, testified that an undercount would have, quote, broad implications for how many teachers to students there are in any school district, health care, hospitals, roads, infrastructure, end quote. She also warned, and I quote, Stakeholders urgently need more information and a deployment plan, end quote. Arturo Vargas, the CEO of Nalio Education Fund, warned that the Trump administration's citizenship question debacle, quote, continues to foster fear and doubt, end quote. And this is uh, made worse by a hostile environment 
towards immigrants propagated by the administration, end quote. John Yang, the president and CEO of Asian Americans Advancing Justice, testified that the Census Bureau's language support program has, quote, several gaps that need to be overcome and that hiring efforts have been slow and inconsistently inclusive of underserved communities. Today, we will hear directly from the Census Bureau director, and we'll have a lot of very tough questions for him. There are grave uh, challenges facing us this year's census, and to be honest, I don't have full confidence that the administration is equipped to handle them. Nevertheless, we are committed to doing everything we can to highlight these challenges where we see them, work with our dedicated colleagues at the Census Bureau and GAO, and, and collaborate with our partners across the country to deliver a fair and accurate count. Our Constitution requires it, our communities rely on it, and our democracy depends on it. And uh, I want to thank really all of the witnesses, and particularly the director for being with us today, and I look forward to all of your testimony.